So we're back at the NEC show uh, in October, and I'm here with Phil from Affium. Is that how you say Affium? Affium, that's correct. Yes, it's, it is uh, said many different ways, but that is the correct way, yes. <laughs> <laughs> now, we've known each other a good few years, we haven't we? Certainly have. yeah, we yeah. certainly have. We've yeah. been around the block. <laughs> so we're here looking at an Affium product yes. from Marve. That's right. And th- am I saying that right? You are, yes. And again, many people say it wrong, but that is the correct I'm way, sure. yes. Yeah. yeah, I'm sure. So this is an auto-levelling system, correct. which is ideal for a motorhome. That's but right. I guess it could be fitted to a caravan as well, could it? Not really, no. Um, caravan ones are slightly different. We, at the moment, we are developing a caravan version, but it's just it's not just for motorhomes. It could be horse boxes, um, cherry pickers, that sort of thing. But predominantly for the motorhome market, yeah. So tell me about the features of this levelling system. I mean, they are the ultimate levelling system, aren't they? Just having a a hydraulic system like this rather than a pair of ramps. Absolutely, yes. I mean, obviously, um, it's more expensive than a pair of ramps, quite clearly. It is a bit of an investment, um, but people always come back to us who've had them fitted and said they don't know how to manage without them and they wouldn't do without it. Um, The joy of this one, regarding the price, really, is the fact that you can move it from vehicle to vehicle. Not, okay. not, not very simply in, in seconds, but it is uh, able to be moved from one vehicle to another. So it's not welded to the vehicle, it's no, bolted no. to, isn't it? Yeah. It's to do with the pipes and that sort of thing, so there's no extra cost for pipes because you can use the same pipes. Yeah. And an auto-leveling system means, you, obviously, you can level the, the vehicle very quickly yeah. and easily. Well, quite simply, yeah, what happens is we can demonstrate it. Let's do it. It's already switched on here, so it's as simple as just pressing the down button and it will automatically bring the feet down. So what will happen is... Two of the feet will come down first. You can see the two back ones here coming yep. down. They will touch the ground. The two front ones will then come down and touch the ground. And at that point, it will then decide how to level itself. And at all times, you can see what's happening on the on the screen there. So this little device you've got here to mimic a motor, I mean, it looks level to me. What's it going to do? It won't do a great deal, quite rightly, in here because the floor is level. But apart from levelling the vehicle, it also makes it so it sits very steady. Yeah. So as you're moving around the vehicle, it's not rocking and that sort of thing. It uh, just gives you more of a homely feel, if you like. Yeah, and, and you can raise the vehicle off the ground, can't you? Change you can. a wheel. Yeah, normally when it's levelling, 90% of the time it won't need to take a, a wheel off the ground. If it does, it will do that. Um, but you can also, as you say, you can override the automatic side of it uh, into a manual mode and you can lift the back, the front, one side, the other side, always with two, two rams at a time. Never diagonally, of course, yeah, of course, but always two at a time. Um, so, yes, you can do that, and you can raise all four to take it off the ground to winterise it. So, as well as levelling a vehicle and lifting it to change a wheel, it's a great security feature as well, isn't it? It is, yes. Um, once the jacks are down, um, it's not going anywhere. So, it is a good security feature as well, yes. And what does it cost? The cost on this one, fully fitted, including VAT, is £4,995. And how does that sit in the market of levelling system prices? Uh, Price-wise, it's one of the lowest prices, um, but it is a very reliable product. Um, We also offer with it uh, a three-year fit-and-forget warranty. So should you have it fitted at one of our agents for the sake of argument on the south coast, if you were in Manchester uh, and in the unlikely event that a fault occurred, we send our own engineer to fix it. Yeah, so you've got mobile guys, how many in vans, Just if one. needed? Yeah, yeah, and we only offer that because it is a very reliable system, so we know we're not going to be chasing around like headless chickens. I must admit, I know several owners of motorhomes with the Marve system fitted. I don't Good. know of any one of them having a problem. No, they, in general they don't, but obviously there's moving parts and it's a hydraulic system occasionally things do go wrong and tell me is it when it's off the ground mm-hmm. is it okay to leave it off the ground for a length of time it certainly is yeah it can be winterized so as i say when it levels it doesn't necessarily lift the wheels off the ground but you can manually do that and i can show you how to do that um to take all wheels off the ground so that it can be winterized and you could leave it like that for months on end yeah absolutely so no how do you do that we've automatically set it now so um all you do is you press the manual button which is that little hand button there And then we've got right, left, front and rear. So it'll lift two at a time, as I say, like so. So So this would be handy for emptying the waste tank, wouldn't it? Absolutely, yes, or changing a wheel. Then we can lift the other side. When you're automatically levelling it, it will level to six degrees, which is actually quite steep. If it can't level, 
because it's beyond six degrees, it will tell us, it will bleep, and then you can manually do it. Okay, so, right. So there's no situations where it won't level, really. That's brilliant. And what's the availability? Availability is about, it's a very popular product. Um, there's about a two to three week lead time at the moment. Okay, and that's That's right. improving all the time. So, uh, yeah, it's, it's there. And you've got a network of agents that fit them across the country as we well, have, haven't you? Yeah, we have about 18 agents around the country who have all been fully trained on how to fit it, uh, including Ireland. Um, so, yeah, it, it, it's easy enough to get it done anywhere in the country. Brilliant. Phil, thank you ever so much. No problem at all. Have a great thank rest you. of the show. Thank you very much. So I'm here on the Affium stand at the NEC show with Mike from BR Systems with a very ingenious bike rack. Now, one of the most popular questions we've been asked this week is, what bike rack can we recommend that is suitable for electric bikes? Now, obviously, electric bikes are heavier, um, and the traditional bike racks we often see just don't manage the weight, do they? So right. tell us a bit about this, Mike. This is an electrical bike lift, which gives the opportunity to the people to put on uh, two electric bikes from the floor on, completely up. So it makes it easy, they don't have any back pains whatsoever. You just put the bicycles on it, you lift it up, that's it. So it's an electric bike rack Correct. for an electric bike. Correct. <laughs> I love it, so it goes up and down. Now, we've, it's not the first electric bike rack you know, that goes up and down we've seen, but this is something different. Can you just show us, how, it's 12 volt. Correct. There it goes, it's lower into the floor. And it takes 60 kilos. Correct, it takes 60 kilos. A big advantage of this type of rack is that it goes straight down. So there is very less tension on the back wall of the vehicle. Yeah? Yeah. It also goes down up to 110 centimeters, which makes it very easy for people to put on uh, the electric bikes on it. Yeah? So you literally need to, yeah, there's no distance to lift them off the floor at all, no. is there? Correct. So uh, just bring it up. How long does it take to go all the way up? Ooh. I never counted before, <laughs> <laughs> but it goes fast. <laughs> That's Let's great. Say half a minute, something like that. So hold on there. So it, you say it, stop there a minute, Mike. You say it takes 60 kilos. Correct. Can we test it? Of course you can. Nicola. <laughs> so I'm going to drag one of the team over. This is Nicola. Would you take a seat? Yeah, sure, sure. Go on then. <laughs> now, can I ask you a very naughty question? How heavy are you? 54 kilos. Right, so with intolerance, go on then, Mike. You steady, the, the stand is struggling more than the bike rack. Yeah, correct, that's why I'm holding it here. The rack will have, will have no problems whatsoever with the lady. Look at that. It's not bowing, it's not flexing. You all right there, Nicola? Yeah, all good. <laughs> Just don't leave me up here. <laughs> You're getting, have you got a nosebleed yet? And how much is one of these, Mike? 1,425 pounds. Wow, that's, that's very good value. That's brilliant. And what about availability? Immediately available. Fantastic. Look at her, she's there. Look at that. Should we bring her down? I don't know. It's, uh, <laughs> so it's remote controlled as well? It's wireless? Yes, yeah, it's, uh, it's remote control, correct. An extra feature on it, for instance, uh, on the remote control, and this bike rack is... When your bicycles are down, you get a phone call, for instance, uh, you forget that your bicycles are down, you get into your motorhome, you start the car, it will automatically go up. Okay, so like an electric step does. Yeah. So very clever. Safety. That's very good. I think we should lend you Nicola for the week <laughs> and just have you taken her up and down. You'd sell loads of them. So uh, it's not only uh, electric bikes, so you can also put your wife on it and <laughs> be safe for a while. <laughs> but I guess you could, your normal bikes obviously go on there. Yeah. But can you, could it be adapted to take a wheelchair or um, uh, the f like a storage box? It could be, yes. Yeah. It's very we, don't, good. we don't have it in our range, but of course, yes, if you adapt uh, the rack itself, it could be. Mike, it's brilliant. Thanks for the demo. Thanks for entertaining us. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Nicola. Have a great show. Okay, thanks a lot.